One of the tools in Route 5 that makes a really big change from a productivity standpoint is the ability to create remnants and then to use these remnants as a sheet and nest other parts into them. So here on screen I have some nested parts and let's say I wanted to create a, rem a remnant from this nested sheet and then be able to use it again. But what I would do is select the parts here and go to nesting. Now if I'm going to use the standard nester I can nest these parts while they're still inside the sheet and don't have to worry about moving them outside the sheet. I'll leave everything pretty much as is here. I do have a little gap in between these parts and uh, I'm going to nest the originals and create a remnant here. So I'll hit apply and what that's going to do is nest my parts pretty much the same way they were already nested but it also creates a geometry here and this is my remnant and this is the leftover part of my material. So uh, I could actually save this and just re uh, click this icon right here and turn this into a plate or I might even want to do a little bit of cut up here first so let's uh, Let's do control C to copy this and we'll create a new layer and we'll paste this to the active layer. So everything else is still on screen, but I'm just working in this new layer here. So now I'd have to decide, do I want to spend maybe a little time cutting this uh, uh, part off? Uh, I can even come here and do uh, an offset, uh, let's say of certain parts of this, or maybe I just want to, uh, to draw a, a line that will allow me to cut the part. So if I want to cut cut to either side here, I can I can just come and cut off this part, anything that's left over here. I can I can if I want to be a little bit more precise here with how much materials being being used, I can I can more closely follow here the let's convert this to a line. I can uh, more closely follow the edge of the part here or I can I can just create uh, create any kind of a shape I want. Now, if I wanted to, I could come here and and use the jigsaw tool and create a new shape. And this would be a shape I could use as a remnant and just getting rid of these other parts. And I would just come here and use the open contour offset or the engraved toolpath to just cut straight along this line and remove the, the smaller area here. Uh, once you have this particular uh, geometry, which would be considered a remnant, um, I might even want to come here and, and first of all, rotate this. And, and let's make it so that it would be easy to set a, a home position. I, I made a copy here. Make it easy to set this as a home position. I'll hit Control-1 to move it to the lower left-hand corner of the plate. And I can uh, store it with a little bit of information, such as maybe the, the overall area of this part, um, and, and store it along with other geometries that I could easily recall and, and, uh, and turn into a plate. To turn it into a plate, again, I would move this back down to the lower left-hand position here. And uh, I will come up here and choose Convert Selected Contour to Plate. And when I do that, the, the remnant becomes a plate. And now I can nest other shapes and put them inside of here. So let's just grab a few shapes. Control-C, paste these to the active layer. And now I can, I can nest them inside of this part. I hit Apply and see that it fits inside of of my other remnant area. So in this way you can easily create remnants and reuse them and the remnant creation works from any of the rendering methods or any of the nesting methods, standard, new, or the legacy. All, all three will create the, the remnants which can then be turned into plates.